The work I had to do here was to create the change methodology for Deloitte. And when I had my little consulting firm, they came knock, knock, knock on the door and said, we want to buy you because we want what you have. I said, I'm not for sale, especially not to you. I don't want, I have a five-year-old. It's like, I'm not going to go into this craziness. I said, you can rent us. So they rented us for two years. It was very interesting to be on a design team with Deloitte, with people from South Africa and all over the world, trying to make something simple enough that could be used to redesign the universities in South Africa or to do SAP implementation in Boston. So what they wanted us to do was make something on one page that would be a framework. And basically we tried, again, making it the assess and mobilize, like find out what's going on in the history and where are you now, design the changes, and then implement and transform and keep going. So these are these were words that went through lots of iterations. But the things that was most new to them was they were used to working right across the top with the leaders. You know, you get them all together, and they make the case for change, and they just do it. Well, all this other stuff never got done. And so the fun part about Cotter is Cotter was writing at the same time we were doing this. And we got to say, oh, you could have a team of people and maybe they're a pull-up team. Maybe this isn't their full-time role. Maybe it's somebody from five different departments. Same thing with Walmart. We did it with a pull-up team. So the change team was something we added. And they were people that were going to work gluing the top with the bottom. And they were going to engage people in designing the new processes. And then they were going to help, especially with the capability development, because the leader can be doing their work but if you're not helping the people change, you have this and a lot of disappointment. <laughs> and they go, why didn't they do it? Well, they didn't do it because they didn't know what to do. So developing capabilities, and we did it in two stages. This is the other thing we learned from IBM, actually. So with IBM, we, they were doing all these um, technological changes and training and retraining and training people. And what happens is it wasn't sticking. And so it was costing them a lot of money. And we said, oops, what you were not doing is the two hours to let people kind of understand the piece I'm going to do next for you about how does a person change. So by adding a two-hour module in front of all their technology changes, they stopped having to train and retrain and retrain. So it saved them a lot of money. And the people got less scarfy. So this was the part of where you teach people about you give them a chance to do their own change, and then you involve them, because then they're ready to play, and then they have to do new things. And down here, we talked about also, you have to lock in the organizational culture. You have to change the culture.